Bonsai and good morning, grinders. Camera's tilted just a little bit. It's a Monday. Oops, wrong light. Ugh. So today's a potential day. Oh, I gotta start the timer, don't I? Alexa, give me a three minute timer. Three minutes, starting now. Title is Turning Op Troubles into Opportunities. And here's the devotional. When trouble comes your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. James 1, 2-4. Okay, so here's the deal with this one. And to me, it, it comes down in our, our general lives to attitude. You know... Everybody has issues, problems, troubles that come up. And you've got one of two choices. You can let it take the best of you, or you can do your best and try and learn from it. And I think that's what they're trying to say here. You're going to have issues. So you need to take joy in those issues, which I don't have a key for how you do that but you should see them as an opportunity to grow. If, if you listen to some of the champions throughout the sports world, they'll tell you that, especially Michael Jordan, you know, who says, well, I've failed more times than I've succeeded, but that's why I succeed. And one of my favorite quotes from a movie is Rocky Balboa, and I'm paraphrasing here, but when he talks about nothing will hit you harder than the world, but it doesn't matter how hard you hit. It matters how hard you can get hit and get back up. That's how winning is done. Something along those lines. It's a great, great quote. And that really is the, the secret. You know, if you get knocked down seven times, you got to get up eight. Keep going, keep pushing forward. Same with all our troubles. And I... I I think in this one, they're, they're talking about, you know, when your faith is tested, maybe outside forces are uh, working on you. Like, say, for example, you know, all the lockdowns, a lot of churches can't get together. So take that as an opportunity to maybe have your church broadcast the service on Facebook Live, thereby possibly reaching more people that wouldn't necessarily come to the church service. That's that's just a 4 a.m. example off the top of my head, but it's things like that. So when you get knocked down, get back up, work on your endurance. And that's all I have for this devotional. If you agree or disagree, you can put a comment down below. Other than that, have a great day. We're gonna see you up in a back cave in just a few minutes for a little more exercise. Alexa, stop. All right, Bonsai Grinders, welcome back. Up here in the back cave. And uh, I'm getting ready to start set three of three. Eight exercises. I got to tell you, I'm already whooped. But it's good. So I'm going to put you down and we'll get to it. So here we go. Same set of exercises. We're doing um, deadlift, bent over row. Uh, bent over row. Oh, bench press and lat pull down. Uh, one thing I noticed that uh, on the first set today, definitely had eccentric mode on. And at least for the second half of the second and the whole third, I don't think eccentric mode's turned on. So I need to go back and check that. So uh, it takes me between 10 and 12 minutes to do a round. Um, obviously as I get to the third round it takes me a little longer I need to take a break and get my wind back up because it you know you're worn out it's a good workout just we're just doing eight exercises but it's a full body routine and you know it has me sweating and stinking by the time I get there uh, and this, the, the lat pull down, it's to the point where it's almost pulling me off the bench. So I'm, I'm real happy with that. 
and as you can see changing out from the bar to the handle grips is pretty quick doesn't take very long to uh, switch to um, the, the arms where they go I would say it really doesn't take any longer than, than switching your weight on your dumbbells maybe maybe a few seconds more but for the variety of this machine adds it's well worth it I'm really happy with this thing and I really like doing the bicep curls because uh, the, the reflective surface surface on the uh, tonal you can see yourself and you know I can see that bicep vein popping which is something I've always wanted so but yeah I'm pretty worn out here strangest thing played the same song twice in a row beat it by Michael Jackson so some reason I wanted to play a lot of police today and I just I don't mind the police but the, I want something a little more upbeat that's why I wish their so-called hard rock was you know more like 80s hair metal or something because it's just not my favorite so here we go last exercise chest fly and we're pretty much done it was a good workout and wore me out okay we're back I'm done I don't know if you can see it but it says I did an extra 397 pounds I'm feeling it. I am whooped. Okay. Great workout. Have a great day. We'll see you maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. Bonsai.